so the impulse is acting at a distance j by 3 initially our ball and everything is at rest let's get into this one so first what is the conditions that will arise here no? It is attached, no? it is attached to it. So shall we just say that the, it will acquire angular velocity omega. <coughs> so then what is the expression J into 2L by 3 should be equal to moment of inertia. Moment of inertia of the rod, rod will be ML square by 3, that of the particle So one L by three get cancelled. So two J equal to L capital M plus small m. So two J by M plus small m into L. Okay, leave it here. I think there's a very easy. So I think some passages you can manage. You can manage with this idea. J into 2L by 3, no, I think I, I took it correct, no, J into 2L by 3. <coughs> square, square. Moment of inertia will be ML by 3. Okay, so some corrections are there. This is, I'll, I, I'm going to make it, I'm going to make it. This will become ML by 3 all square. Am I right? Yeah, no. So this will be three if you take it. So three M will come. Yes, yeah, six will be there. Now look at the calculation. So this is our one equation. The first part is over. Find the impulse acted on the ball during the time interval delta t. How to bring this? <laughs> So what was the state of the ball earlier? They were at rest, no? It suddenly started moving. So the angular, the, and it acquired angular momentum. So I'll go for the a, a angular impulse. Uh, angular impulse, I think J theta view symbol. Hope if you remember. What was the initial angular momentum of ball for ball? The, the then, then is asking the, find the impulse acted on the ball during the time interval delta t. So what impulse acted some j theta is in fact acted on it. So I'll put some j dash or jb, I'll write it. And similarly, the jb will act on this one. So this jb into l by 3 equal to ls. I think the, the, the rod will try to move, no? then it will push the ball inside the rod as it starts moving, then to push the ball. So then the normal contact will suddenly increase. That will become impulse on the ball. And similarly, the ball will exert for impulse on the rod also. This distance is L by 3. OK, I think now, now this JB, L by 3. What is LF? LF should be equal to, again, again it is M L by 3 whole square into omega. Do we know omega? Yes, we have. Then I'll get the impulse by the rod on the ball or by the ball on the rod. One L and one three get cancelled. So this will become ML by three. Omega, omega is six J by. Six M, okay, two M G. What you should call impulse by rod on ball 
or by ball on the note. Okay, luckily uh, we got it. <coughs> now find the magnitude and direction of impulse applied by the pivot during the time interval delta t. Why the pivot should come? Will there be any impulse? In that interval, the pivot is also asking. And from where the, the idea has to be brought. I think we never found out. I think if you can remember impulsive reactions, impulsive reactions, <laughs> the pivot is what we have discussed few problems. So let, 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 <coughs> I'll, I'll bring one more diagram so that there won't be confusion for you. We'll take one separate diagram to study the impulses. So these things I'll take it out. All together, <coughs> when you apply, I think whenever this impulses will come, so we do take help of, so let the impulse be J dash, JR. I think it was a test, only the impulsive reaction will come along X axis. Uh, why Why there are no impulse along Y axis, why or not? Because it was a test, when you apply impulse, the very next moment open, it will first, it will try to move, no? This whole rod will try to move. The whole rod plus ball will try to move, the, the inch will oppose. So therefore the impulsive reaction. This is what acting on the, so on, on the rod or on this one? On this, I'll take it, I'll solve it. If I get negative, I'll change the direction. Mm, then, uh, so impulse linear momentum equation, I'll apply J plus JRX. Now what is the velocity of, <coughs> we know angular velocity omega. So can we calculate the velocity of ball, small m into velocity of ball, capital M into velocity of the rod. Oh, I'll write it. This B will write it. So what is VB? VB should be equal to L by three omega. VO should be equal to L by two omega. Substitute that. And we know omega, solve for it, you'll get the impulsive reaction. I think there's the only uh, alternative available for us. Velocity of ball should be L by three omega. M should be equal to L by two omega. Omega value, we know it. That substitute solve for it, you'll get the impulsive reaction by the inch. So what is JRX? We have to write it. Reaction by reaction at inch. Now the, the, this, sir, what is a thing? Is it, will it have any linear motion at that instant? Huh? Because this inch reaction will come at that instant. The moment you apply impulse at that instant. At that instant, what happened? I can describe transitive motion of the rod. But it's only rotating. This will be very, if I write V, you, it, because you, you may start thinking it will start, will have only transitive motion. No, it'll have only rotative motion. Due to this angular velocity, it will have linear velocity that we are expressing here. I, I, you need not to bother, sir, JRX. <coughs> it all depends where you apply. If you get positive, okay, what you assume, right? If you get negative, change the direction. JRX will be M J by I'll get into, so now no, same thing. If there is no inch, what you are going to do? What will be your response for the problem? Let's, let's discuss that.
there's no inch how you do how you manage this question now so will it will it be in contact or not contact so just <laughs> just ball is just in contact not attached ball is just in contact with the rod or just touching the rod no now what conditions will be i think you can see only this so initially they were at rest so what is the state of rod rod was at rest and the ball with also rest here so the moment you apply so what is the tendency of the rod is it rod free to move Yes, the rod is free to move. So therefore, it will it rotate about O? There's a point of contact P, and the center of mass of system will come somewhere in between P and O. So this <coughs> rod will rotate about O and about P, or about center of mass of system. The moment if you apply it, the rod will acquire linear momentum. then there'll be impulse will also act so what are the diagrams the diagrams will take shape like this then copy no 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 what shall we do we will then impulse is applied so there'll be a linear impulse will act here call the like jb i think that jb and this jb different so i'll write some j dash j dash <coughs> then this will acquire velocity say like a v not this will acquire velocity say vb then what is the tendency of the rod it is having a tendency to spin about omega not the what are the equations so j is equal to mv not or oh sorry j minus equal to mv not uh, then j into uh, the distance will become how much this is 2l by 3 no 2l by 3 L by two should be equal to moment of inertia m l square by two l into omega naught. Now, will there be an angular impulse by that? As yes, that also has to be included. Okay, that I have forgot. Okay, I'll, I'll include that also. Plus, this will be angular impulse by j dash. J dash should be l by two minus l by three equal to. M L square by two L into omega naught. Keep it in this way. How many unknowns are there? V naught, J dash, and omega naught. Three unknowns are there. Okay, let's write the equation on for the ball. For the ball, it should be J dash equal to M into V B. Then <coughs> at that instant, it will be in contact. No, very so. Therefore, the velocity of point P should be equal to velocity of B. And what is the velocity of point P? v not minus uh, distance will be l by 2 minus l by 3 omega not equal to vb now we can solve this and the methodology for free to mono so there will be impulse what is this j dash that the impulse due to normal contact between the rod and the ball Uh, sir why don't you treat this as one system uh, will you uh, sir why why all this sir, like i'll treat this as one system and the rod plus ball will rotate about center of mass will you justify this anybody you can put in chat box yes or no
will you justify that the all so the, the, this the, this particular thing why to do all this uh, just like take centroid mass of system about that point conservation of momentum conservation of angular momentum angular momentum is in fact conserved about any point here about about ball about o or about any point but why we are doing like this only because after just after collision the rod will have its own individual motion why it is related to ball they are not stuck because the ball is just touching the rod i think this matters a lot if the ball is attached to the rod then it rotate about center of mass i think got that clear there's a main ideas is what you should differentiate okay i think see small small things maximum stress of small ideas of this one Now, you need to go for very big very small ideas somewhere in a problem just change a small condition you, you get a exactly a different scenario a new new idea will come it means like a, a problem is there just change some condition and see oh like this will happen if if we are getting confusion in type with the teacher so th this what the revision means the revision means not solving again new questions what all you studied analyze it think on it slightly change condition what will happen there what happen your concept clarity will increase that is what going to help you for you to become a best engineer if you just keep on solve problem and forget where is the thinking analysis is very important so take what all the numericals you have gathered till now do analysis on it so definitely i can see that the <coughs> this approach is better every problem i think there are five or six situations will come that you have to analyze the preparation for advance in the revision that is what a student supposed to do not like say i, I am not you can solve problem but the analysis if you miss it gone i have junior class okay we will uh, hand up the class here so tomorrow i'll continue again rigid body mechanics i have a few more good ideas are there i brought it okay thank you all of you